one, go. Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and now I want to talk a little bit about the importance of patella mobility. Now, some people are just naturally tight, okay, and uh, they the kneecap doesn't move very well. Some people have surgery or a trauma, and all of these tissues and structures around the knee start to get really, really tight. Now, we need to remember that the retinaculum, that tissue that helps to hold that kneecap in the groove of the femur, um, is very um, plastic like okay it's almost like those six pack rings around six packs um, they're very very hard plastic they deform they're very, they're very difficult to deform um, and very very tight they're not like a muscle that is more like an elastic fiber so most people develop too much tightness on the outside of the kneecap and others can develop a patella inferra syndrome where the inferior or the bottom part of the uh, kneecap and the tissues below that become really really tight and the kneecap does not want to move up very well okay so i want to show two different ways of mobilizing this kneecap and why it's important to do it certain ways so if you're trying to stretch the outer retinaculum or the tissues on the outside of the kneecap you want to take a hold of that outer ridge of that kneecap just like this and you want to give it a nice steady stretch now that's comfortable it doesn't hurt yeah. okay and most people will tolerate this pretty well now notice that um, I'm holding it there I'm not just doing this a lot of people mobilize the kneecap like that and that's not really effective okay if you want to get a nice long stretch you want to do a low load for a long duration and you want to keep a nice long stretch on that kneecap now if your thumbs are not strong enough or maybe they are just um, they're hurting or you've beat them up over the years like I have um, the other way to do that stretch is to just put a hand underneath the knee and take the the palm of your hand the base of your hand here and you can push that kneecap inward and maintain that nice long stretch I like to hold 30 seconds to a minute sometimes. And it's amazing how much more mobility they'll have um, going inward. They'll be able to contract their quad better, they're gonna be able to flex the knee better and extend it better. And just improving that mobility can make a huge difference. I have had some people who couldn't even do a half squat and only because of patella you know, immobility and tightness. We mobilize that and their mobility and strength and function improve significantly. Now the other stretch I like to do is to stretch the patella tendon and the inferior structures or the structures just below the kneecap. And the way I like to do this, we need to remember that that patella tendon is very, very strong tissue. Okay, um, it can withstand over 2,000 pounds of linear pull on it. So you're not going to wreck this thing by, you know, doing a good mobilization. But if they're really tight, sometimes from ACL surgery or they've had a fracture um, or trauma to the knee, that will become really stiff. And if it's very stiff, the kneecap is not going to move upward nicely. Okay, so it needs to move up by having the quad pull it up and to have enough mobility down here to allow it to go up. So in order to get that to move superiorly a little bit better, I take the web space of my hand and I get all the edges of that bottom part of the kneecap and I'm just going to hold and I try not to push the kneecap into the femur, I get below it and I try to push it on the top, okay? So I make it float a little bit and people will tolerate that a lot better. And I'm putting some pretty good force here. I'm, I'm probably pushing about, you know, 40, 45 pounds of pressure. And I, again, I hold and I maintain that to get that nice low load, long duration stretch to the inferior part of the kneecap. So that is how I like to stretch the lateral side and the inferior side of the patella um, with some patella mobilizations. And that's how I like to do it. Uh, again, make sure that you follow these stretches up with good quad contractions, straight leg raises, quad sets, and things of that sort. Um, so if you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe so that you can see some of the new videos when they come out. Thanks.